Baron Trent, Magua here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterium for you guys today. And today we are a bit late, actually. Uh, we should have been uploading yesterday onwards, but uh, when I got back from vacation, I made the mistake of buying a sandwich in the gas station because I was really hungry and I thought it would be okay. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually gluten intolerant and... <laughs> Sometimes I like to dance with the devil and you know, sometimes I, I get away with it, but uh, Yeah, this time I did it. I'm not gonna really go into details, but uh, you know, there was some vomiting and stuff involved <laughs> And I just I was like knocked out for uh, the entirety uh, of yesterday. I also had uh, a good friend of mine uh, in Petra's Panda visit for a couple of days as well Even though I was pretty much dead the entire time, but yeah, I have been uh, I've been out of it, but Hopefully you guys had a great Christmas vacation. Uh, thank you so much for the support on the videos these last few days. Thank you so much for the feedback in last video. Uh, I got a lot of important info out of that one and uh, I really, uh, you know, am grateful that you took time out of your day to just write the comment and, and let me know what you think. And I will be taking that feedback very seriously. But basically the gist of it is there's a lot of mixed responses uh, to whether you guys prefer you know, pure uh, recorded videos or uh, Twitch stream videos. There, There is a, definitely a strong pref uh, preference for these kind of videos. Like today, you're going to get a recorded video. And uh, basically what I got out of it is I'm going to mix it up. You know, I'm going to I'm gonna do both things because I, I know, uh, you know, I still, I, I never intended on stopping streaming. I love streaming and I can't wait to get back to it. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm also, you know, they can also be entertaining because of the, of the chat and stuff. So I'll just, I'll mix them up and that way, hopefully everybody will be happy, but I uh, really appreciate you guys. Uh, letting me know what you think. And yeah, I am rambling at this point. We've been at it for two minutes and I'm not even talking about the deck yet. So let's talk about blow them back today. This is a deck that I made, um, today. Actually, I had a couple of decks ready before I went on to vacation, but then I went back and I play tested them a little bit more and they turned out to suck real hard. So <laughs> I ended up, uh, you know, trying to uh, build a proper list, and then I uh, decided to go with this. Uh, another deck that I, one of these two decks that I wanted to bring to the table was a Jinx deck with Bandle City, but I wasn't really happy with the results, and I decided to lean on to Noxus for a bit more of an aggressive end instead. And I actually was pr quite happy with uh, how this deck performed, even though I do finally understand why Jinx isn't really that big of a thing this metagame, right? Jinx is a very powerful champion. In a vacuum, she's pretty insane, right? Uh, when she levels up, you are able to generate, including on level up, by the way, uh, the Super Mega Death Rocket, which deals three damage to the enemy Nexus and one damage to all enemies. Now this, alongside your ability to draw one card at round start, allows Jinx to really set you up for a late game end. A late game end, is that the proper, like, is that actually, there's probably like 47,000 different ways of saying that better, but you know, I'm, 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 I'm gonna blame it on Rust. But essentially Jinx is a very powerful aggro champion. But one of the things that I realized as I was playtesting her is that she matches up really poorly against Morgana. Morgana and curses in general, really hinder her because it's it's kind of like a direct counter, right? As you are filling your opponent with uh, cards in their hand, therefore negating Jinx's ability to generate Super Mega Death Rockets. And you're also making them really expensive and you can't discard them. You can't target them with your rummages or, or anything. So you kind of have to pay mana to get rid of them. And a lot of times your, your mana curve is really, really tight in order to get those rockets firing off as early as possible. So Morgana, with a combination of that and Lifesteal, is like the ultimate counter to Jinx. And I argue that is the main reason why you don't see more Jinx on the ladder. I still think she's playable and she could be uh, quite good, especially because there's more matchups beyond Morgana, but that's something that I uh, didn't quite realize at first until I started playing her quite a bit, and then I uh, started noticing it, you know, as soon as I ran into Morgana and stuff. So, yeah, something to keep in mind. Not just Morgana, but Curses in general. You gotta watch out for that. Like, also the Noxus, uh, I call him Igor. You know, the Razorback Broadmane? No, not that, that's, I, I mixed two cards. You know what I'm talking about, the Lizard, the Basilisk, you know, that, that gives you Ikor in hand. That also is a huge nuisance as well. But nonetheless, uh, this is the new version, I guess, of discard aggro, at least my take on it, as uh, it is, you know, nothing new really, but I guess an updated version for what we face right now. Uh, I didn't really get to play much of this card. This card has been around for a while, right? But uh, I was, it was quite prevalent during my hiatus. 
Blowback is a four mana fast speed spell that deals one damage to the enemy and the enemy nexus. And then you can discard up to two cards to increase the damage by one for each card discarded. If you discard two cards, this card is essentially a get excited that hits both an enemy and goes face, which seems like an upgrade, but it's requiring you to discard two cards, which is quite the uh, requirement out of a card, but still very, very nice. It's kind of like our own. It's, it's as if as if get excited and decimate blended into one uh, on this list and uh yeah they had a baby and blowback was the baby don't i don't know if you can take that out of context but yeah whatever as we have a deck that has a bunch of discard synergies right we have the reborn grenadier we have uh fallen rider we got what else what else we got vision naturally we got jury rig and then we got discarders which include again reborn grenadier but then the zonid urchin uh, the Rummage right here, some Dredger, and of course Blowback, like we mentioned, and the Augmented Experimenter. So we try to get value out of discarding our own cards, try to generate strong tempo out of that, go wide, and then buff that spread out board state with a discarded Vision. As we're also running a one-off of Salt and Stitches, because I think this card is quite underrated, it always has been. And now that, you know, with the current uh, card pool and standard, things are tighter. I think you can justify this as a one-off, as there's a lot of cool open attack setups you can, uh, you know, surprise your opponent with. Especially because Salt and Stitches works really well onto Reborn Grenadier, right? Like, Salt and Stitches into Reborn Grenadier can lead off to a very powerful open attack. With the aid of Brothers Bond, we can push a lot of damage in conjunction with our flame chompers removing the blockers out of the way so yeah spread out try to get some really good damage through combat in early and then finish off the game with good old burn that is the way jinx operates she hasn't really changed and you know despite some rough matchups here and there i think this list is still quite powerful most definitely playable playable english and had a great time, you know. I sometimes I just feel like playing aggro, and aggro in Legend of Terra is still quite intricate. Especially uh, this card, aggro is always my, my favorite kind of aggro because there's a lot of sequencing that you have to take in, into consideration, uh, and knowing when to pull the trigger, I guess pun intended, and when to uh, build up the board is really important. And overall, it's a very rewarding playstyle that also leads to very fast games if that's what you're into. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends of Runeterra content. Hope you enjoy the games. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, here we go. And this is this is the new deck that's uh, really growing in popularity. I I'd say it's you know. An evolution of my Galio Morgana list. Just, you know, let it that out there. As uh, we're going to drop Blowback, we want to keep the Jinx. We have Flame Chompers and Boom Baboon. I'm going to keep both because we, we do want to have as many discard, as much discard fodder as we can. I could push five damage here. Is that worth. I think we can always reserve this for later and try to just... Man, I miss 3-1 Boom Baboon. I really miss 3-1 Boom Baboon. It really does make a difference here. We could have pushed more damage. But I feel like we, we could set up some really strong attacks here. And now we have a nice blowback. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Target you, and I'm going to discard you and you. Right before they get their boost there. Great value, great momentum. Great everything. I'm gonna push damage. It's a lot of damage, and this deck ain't got no way to stop it. They ain't got no way to stop it with no, with nothing on the board. You know, their their removal is essentially gentleman's duel, so we're we're trying to take advantage of that. We got double jinx, which is really nice. And that's a clean win. Z meta deck defeated. All right. This is an interesting matchup here. We're going from meta to meta. We got Zonai Durkin. We got Boom Baboon. Mystic Shot allows us to one-shot Nora, which is important. We're going to drop the Rummage for now. 
to pick up an augmented experimenter. And let's see if we find ways to, uh, to push damage here. This thing just chumps us, so there's no there's no good reason to drop Zonite without any cantrips here. I want to play Boom Baboon as early as possible so that the prank, if they go for it... Whatever it is they hit, it's pretty fine. We have a Flame Chompers that can move this away, so we don't want to... Like, the problem is, a lot of our stuff is pingable, right? Cup of tea? Fine by me. We kept the Mystic Shot for this very reason. Yes, Prevent them from generating any free value. We're gonna keep going wide. Yes. We actually want them to give us this that space. So now we do this. We surprise them with that. And we try to go for a big hit here. Pytos, taking out another Boom Baboon, but we still are able to push 9 damage. Very important. I say this deck has no healing, but it's an Elder Dragon deck, which means there's always a chance for healing. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Jinx? Stands for Jinx? Durr. I'm gonna throw up Jinx. He knows what we're going for. With his augmented experimenter, he's gonna die to a ping, but... Unless they... Yeah, we should be able to level her up. What's the worst that could happen? They can double, like, double ping her, though, is, like, it's hard. It's hard, because they've already played two Pytosses. Like, at fast speed, I'm just not expecting it. They, they have to have drawn, like, perfectly for this, for them to be able to do it. So we, we do this immediately so we can level up Jinx. Yeah, they could broad main, but we still get our rocket, which is what matters here. They ping that. They actually top picked another one. We're doing it! Definitely expect the Lord Broadbane going down here. And don't get me wrong, even though we expect it. What the? Okay, I was not expecting that. I guess a bit of an anti-aggro attack. Oh, but that ends up working really well for us. <laughs> That's just not it, Chief. That's that line ain't it. Like, either broad main or, or just uh, sign in would have been better there. Now it's a party. Oh yeah. One hell of a party at that. Double rummage. Wondrous discoveries await below. That's Jinx. To 
tentacles off the spectacles, please. Prank this. Prank this. Prank this. Oh, no! Ah! Healing. Okay, maybe I got cocky here. Or maybe I didn't. Or maybe I didn't. They got some weird tech, so I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Arrogance could be my undoing. Because uh, their, their variant is definitely less predictable. And I keep saying, you know, with only Bandle City, but Elder Dragon as a region, yeah, they could incorporate some healing here. But they pass over initiative. They pass back initiative, which means we do this. Where is it? And uh, yeah, they can't. They can't stop that. <laughs> Would have been a free mercy loss. We blew them All up. up. All right. This is a deck that's been gaining quite a bit of popularity. Morgana Galio with the other dragon. And I'm gonna say this is an evolution of my deck. Yes, yes, I am taking credit for this. Semi credit. Because reasons. Uh Zonar Urken into Fallen Rider. Like they play stuff like Mage Seeker Jr. So which is what uh, my Morgana Galio deck was founded on, but they added Elder Dragon to the mix. And, uh, you know, sacrifice. I, I, I barely had any target cards going on for it, so it, it, it honestly it makes sense to go Elder Dragon instead of that. It's, it's, it's like an optimized version of that. Uh, we're going to go Zonite into Fallen Rider. I like Double Fallen Rider. Honestly, I, I like all these discard targets. I don't think we mulligan that. It's just, it's a lot. Well, we could push for more damage. They could just have a, a one-drop formidable unit anyways. And I really, like, Risen Riders are going to be really, really, really good here. Really good. I can't block into them. If they attack with this, though, I will block into it. Because they need a board to do things. They're Demacia, right? Okay, interesting. Now here's the thing. Do I... I think I build up for like a stronger and then go for that later. I think I just push for this damage here for now. Anything else? I could do this now, but I think I, I hold on to it. it is. Get the Duran. Getting that high up there. We pass though. We're, we're gonna we're gonna rummage into double fallen rider here. Trying to find another way to discard uh, rapidly, and then we're gonna try to go. We're, we're gonna try to arm up huge hit. Absolutely massive hit. Flame Chomper would be 
amazing here. But then again, so is kind of so is this. We do this, and we discard you. One, two, three. So we do this. We discard you too. I have found such beauty in mortality. Yeah, Morgana's kind of annoying here, but. Morgana really sucks. Lifesteal uh, is pretty brutal, but we're going to try to see if we continue to find an opening here. Every mage must face their crimes. Bear this burden. It will all be over soon. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to uh, keep the board clean. We're going to buff here, we're going to buff here. Like, yeah, they're going to get that health back. But at least we weaken the Galio play. And uh, drawing a third jinx is like the last thing I wanted to see, but you know, what are you gonna do? Pain must be felt. I want to force that Morgana out of them, basically. Can we win after they've healed so much with Morgana? I'm not sure, honestly. Like, it's not looking great. But they have to rebuild their board, and that gives us some time. I do kind of need them to stop healing, though. Healing is cheating. Okay. Anything else we can handle? For now. Try, try, to t try to stay optimistic here. Oh my god, these draws. Okay. No one is beyond my reach. No one. Obnoxious. I know I could have gone for the uh, for the thing. You pay the price. I have found great strength in sacrifice. Now it's a party. 
Yep, Morgana definitely won the game. I am surprised by this play. I don't think this is a good play. This this gives this gives me options. This allows me to do this. The curses are really good against Jinx. Curses are like really rough against Jinx. Because I can't discard him. And and like Mahira is like really good because he just like kinda like counters Jinx directly. That's that's really good information though. Less thinking, more pew pewing. No, it's important to think, Jinx. Like this is like really legit valuable information here. I don't think um I don't think I can I can make it out of this though. GG. You good. But yeah, curses are a problem. That was zero. I know. Okay. Bring in the greed. Bring in the mulligans. This is just not cutting it. We need we need an actual opener, and we do have it. Was on I reckon into jury rig here. I could go for um, for jury rig here, but I value being able to play Fallen Rider on curve more. Got the vision there. Smack them. That rummage is fantastic. Threshold of the gray. I think I'm gonna let that terror. That, that's like really expensive to get rid of otherwise. And uh, what we can do is this go you into you. Attack with Uruk, because why not? They could have something like an Ice Shard here. But they just go for the freeze. So they uh, they really mitigate damage here. And uh, an Avalanche could really... Honestly, really hurt. Even though, you know, one of our units is terrored, like, Avalanche is still strong as hell here. They have to go for it immediately, though. Like, otherwise, like, I'm never going to give them an opening for, like, a bigger value Avalanche. It's just not happening. Don't have it though. I really wish I could discard this shit, but then it would be terrible. Curses would be terrible. Um, yeah. yeah. This is a worthy Mystic shot. Into a sub dredger. Into a crazy, crazy, even crazier than I expected open attack. Oh my god. Okay. Tear out. Salt in. Hopefully for the opponent. Here we go. <laughs> Harsh winds incoming. Ah! Oh, what is this? What is this? 2020? Grasp of the Undying. Oh my god. We still got a massive hit on them, though. We really feed on these decks. That trying to slow the game down. Er eradication. Eradication. All right. Okay. What am I worried about here? Volley bear is not a thing. What else what else could be a thing? Try to open swing. I, I got lethal here. So I, I wanna get stuff out of them. Okay, so what if we do this? Do it. 
got him. Can I, can I get me that Jinx victory laugh, please? I, I miss it. I miss it. Now's the time. Now it's perfect. Come on. We blew them all up. Uncle Goozy. Uncle Goozy. Callista Mordekaiser. Okay. With Froyord. What are they playing here? I can't. I probably should know at this point, like what the Froyord is for, but I can't write, I can't put my head on it. I'm gonna pass here. I'm gonna go Urchin. I'm gonna try to set up a strong attack here. I may resort to a second Zonite. Will definitely resort to a second Zonite. Uh, am I dis- I'm not discarding the argument, obviously, none of these two. This plays well into this, like, next turn. So I'm just gonna skip. Just for the one drop, just for the extra two damage. We're gonna block into one of these, and we still get to push five damage. Forcing the trades before Callista comes online is also relevant. And now we'll be able to set a, a Chompers here. And we got a we got a Brothers Bond. That's a great draw. Good setup here. Legion of the Severed does not match up well against this. That two health makes it the equivalent of one of our one drops. The sun drop got me good. Oh, 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 if only, if only, if only. If only I could get some di burst speed disker. Oh! They don't play avalanche, right? With with Legion of the Severed, no way. No, impossible. Impossible. That's just that's just weird deck building. You know you don't play this three drop and then put avalanche. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um I'm gonna drag this. They're gonna buff that. And I'm like, bruh. I don't give a fuck. All I want is damage. <laughs> I don't care about the board. At this stage, I'm not gonna fight the board. I'm gonna burn ya. I'm gonna burn ya. Until you're fucking Shishio, I doubt, I just, I don't know. I be, I've been checking out some Rory Kenshin lately. You guys seen the, the like new, like the remake uh, anime? It's, it's garbage. Honestly, like, it's, it's quite simply trash. What the hell? Okay. Just you and me, fish bones. Ugh, and, and them. them. <laughs> Come on, laugh now! We blew them all! Alright. Different color. Same thing. Elusives. We got Fallen Rider, which can be really strong here. Can allow us to push quite a bit of damage, but then she even though they could be playing Mystic Shots. So we gotta keep that in mind. I like the vision. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's a bit slower, but the bl we have a good setup for the blowback. We don't really have the setup here. So I'm I'm just gonna ping you. I'll take it a little bit slower. I'm just gonna play a little bit uh, for value here because we, we don't really have a nice setup here. We could push some damage with rummage.
This is the turn for Risen Rider. They could have a Mystic Shot. But it demands a lot out of them. And that 4 damage... He's as, as, as damage is generally <laughs> very important, you know. Oh, God. He's that. They took our, they took our job, man. Mm, I'm still going to do this. I don't mind taking a hit here. I'm going to pass, though. This mama is the beast mama. So maybe I changed my mind, but... We take the hit. We're gonna blow them back. We're gonna blow them back. We're gonna do that. Empowering our flame chompers to be able to take down their elusives. A mystic shot here. That could have been damage applied on my turn, but now they go back to one. So yeah, they preserve them. But they miss out on a lot. Uh, just a prank, bro. Can be kind of annoying, but at the same time, not really. I'm gonna blow this back first. So that then when they attack and they get the prank. Is planting your mushrooms. I can develop Risen Rider and as they try to prank me. It's just Jinx. And we're going in. We're we're lining up that rocket. Mama's home. Oh, they should have gone for the prank. Actually, why didn't I? Okay, I, I huge misplay. I should have thrown this into this. But now I, I catch them by surprise. I misplayed so hard, actually. Oh my god, that could have cost me. But now we go boom boom. We go boom boom. We go boom boom and we win the race. Ah, oh. oh, oh. she it feels like she enjoyed it. What the fuck? Oh no. Oh, that's more damage they could have had. It's a good card though. It allows them to block into this. We're gonna force all the blocks. That into that. That into that, and you into whatever. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna force you to start all over. Why are you blocking here? Do you have a Pytos? Pytos? Spoil the surprise. You. It is. Oh boy, you do. Well, 
Okay. Jinx, give me something good, Jinx. That's good. Sucks to be you, guy. As soon as you give me initiative, I'm gonna bomb you. <laughs> Come on, Jinx! To end the video! Come on! <laughs>